Hello, and welcome to How Tech Tutorials. In this video, we'll teach you how to subtract in Excel by using a formula. Let's suppose a company only sells two products. Over here, we have the data for total units sold and how many times product A was sold for each month. If we want to find out the total units sold for product B, we can simply minus product A with total units sold for each month. For that, we will select the cell where we want the result to appear and start typing the formula. All formulas in Excel start with an equals to sign, so let's enter that here. Now, the easiest way to go about it is just enter the numbers in the formula. So, for example, I can simply write in the formula 700 minus 500. For the minus sign, you can use the minus key on the numeric keypad section of your keyboard. Alternatively, you can use the hyphen key on the keyboard as well. Once you hit enter, it will give you the correct answer. The problem is, if we change the data in this cell, then the numbers for product B won't automatically be updated. A simpler way would be to select the cell reference in the formula. That way, we can copy and paste the formula for the remaining months as well. So after the equals to sign, let's select the cell from total units sold. Enter the minus sign, and now let's select the cell from product A. Once you hit enter, you can see that it has deducted product A from the total units sold for the month of February. Now, if you change the numbers, the result will automatically update. What if the data was presented in a different manner? For example, if the cells contain a negative number. Here, we can simply use the sum function that will add all the numbers in the range and subtract any value that is a negative number. So over here, let's enter the equal to sign followed by sum and open brackets. Now we would be required to select the range. So let's select both the cells for total units sold and product A. Once we hit enter, you can see here that Excel has deducted the values in product A from total units sold. That's all. Would you like to know any specific Excel function? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell icon to be the first to know about our new videos.